Okay, great guys. Next up, I wanna show you how to change the find out how link right here, because this is one of those questions I get a lot in email and on YouTube, which is how do you create an anchor link on WordPress? Well, we know anchor text is some text that you put a link on, but an anchor link is a link you click on, which is anchored to a different part of your site. So it jumps down smoothly and takes the user to the desired section. So in our case, we have an anchor link right here automatically made by Astra. We just need to know how it works. We can replicate it. We can see our anchor link is its own section. So let's edit it. And then we can see it has an icon and it says find out how. And if we go to advanced, it has a little margin at the top. That's cool. Style is pretty much nothing. But why don't we open up the find out how and we can see it links to hashtag services. So whereas normal links link to something like HTTPS colon slash slash www.google.com, anchor links link to just hashtag or hash brown as I like to say, and then some ID word. And then that ID word exists around the site. So because it takes us to hire for us, we know that in this section, there's an ID hiding somewhere of services. That's a CSS ID and that's just how it works. The anchor link has the ID written in it with the hashtag in front of it. And then it takes you down to a section where that ID is on a section or on a header. It can be just on a piece of text and that makes the link know to go down to that part where the ID is. So let's say we wanted this link to instead go down to our video. We could put an ID on this section you're getting the hang of it, I know you are. We can grab these six dots and go to advanced, CSS ID of video. Now we can come back up to our, find out how, open up our original anchor link, open up the item and link it to video and update. And then when you click on the anchor link now, boom, right down to the video at the top of the user screen. How cool is that? You can even duplicate that section to duplicate an anchor link or any section, just right click duplicate. Then let's drag it down to a different area. Like maybe we want an anchor link. Where are we going? Under about us, that's super cool. We're just gonna need to hit the pencil and get rid of that advanced top margin. So it sits right there and we don't want any left margin either. So it's perfectly aligned with about us. You could go to the content and you can change the item and the icon. So maybe you want the icon of like a team or something, a bunch of people working together. Or, you know, like some kind of homepage or stats about your company. Maybe you, want to just, maybe you want to go to the reviews or the comments so you can use something like a comment bubble or two, insert that. And then for the text, we're gonna say, read our reviews, great. And then the link could go to somewhere like testimonials. So you just need to create that section or that page but for now we could put it on why choose us and drop in a testimonial a little later in the video. We just need to give that section its own CSS ID, which is different from a class. Don't do the class here, do the ID. And we'll, and we'll call this one reviews to be consistent. And then up in our second anchor link, edit that, edit this one, items, link is hashtag, reviews and that's all we need to do and update and we've created our second anchor link great job